Uh, we're at the radio festival in Salford. Uh, two guys who've just come off the stage are John and uh, Otis from The Gadget Show. You've been showing off some uh, gadgets to the radio industry today. What have you had? Yeah, well, more um, uh, production platforms or, or apps or software. Uh, I was championing Gobbler, which is um, an unfortunate name for a um, platform that allows collaboration. Um, lots of people to work on the same project. It's safe to the cloud. Um, another app was the DJ app, uh, which is lots of fun, but is actually finding... Um, qualitative use in the production of radio shows, especially when it comes to um, uh, playlists. And my final one was an app called Screech, which allows quite detailed um, data capture for um, radio producers um, by getting listeners to interact with the show. And John, you had the expensive gear, didn't you? Well, not, yes, partly. I mean, I, well, I, one was something called Listener Driven Radio, which, is, which actually sounds... It sounds a bit ghastly in concept, is the idea that our <laughs> listeners all voting together and sort of crowd casting and actually voting for, I presume, mainly uh, songs, but it could be actually anything that they want to uh, appear in the, their, their programmes on their radio station. Mm. Um, you know, it sounds terrible. Actually, it could potentially be quite addictive. I could see my children like it. I think I would probably still prefer to have a, a sort of comforting, loved presenter on the radio that I could relate to instead doing that role rather than my fellow listeners voting. But I could, I could see it could be a really attractive concept. So that was one. I had uh, an app called Lucy Live, which is uh, it's very expensive. Actually. It's about 299 quid, but actually turns your iPhone into a sort of uh, integrated radio production and um, send, sending yeah. your thing off to the station uh, yeah, with finished ICN report, codex, yeah. Yeah. Finish, finish report off to the station device um, which makes it sound not that expensive maybe at £299 so that, mm. that's really quite interesting and I was also sort of championing a bit sort of a, a recent uh, internet radio that sort of gets a bit further than most discreet uh, internet radio sets in making uh, um, making internet radio more friendly, more um, amusing, more fun, and, and, and so on. Yeah, Every so week on the Gadget Show, we're seeing obviously the latest products. Was everything's about connected devices and getting uh, whether it's audio, video, uh, information, whatever it is, from lots of different places. Do you guys think there's a place for traditional old-fashioned radio still in this modern world? I absolutely adore traditional old-fashioned radios, as, as, as my wife would, would tell you. The first thing I do whenever I get, uh, every morning as I switch on the radio, is often the last thing I do when I go, go to bed is, is switch off the, off, off the radio. It is, it is with me all the time during the day. I can't stand a car that doesn't have a proper radio, and I can't... I want the reason I don't actually, in spite of all these wonderful apps, I don't have an iPhone is the fact that it doesn't have a normal, proper radio in it, because I just cannot bear not to have radio with me every single moment of the day. I absolutely adore traditional radio, and there's certainly always be a place for it. I guess you listen Sorry. back probably I, on an iPhone. Well, no, no, no. An, no. An app, yeah. I, I do <laughs> listen to traditional radio as well, but I do think it's it's changing, and yes, I do changing, I, I do it. think that you know, some decades down the line, I think it, it it may have the same, it may occupy the same space as a book. You know, some people love it for the feel of it and where they put themselves when they're when they're listening to it. But in terms of being able to take radio on the move um, and and have it and listen to it in different file formats wherever you want and control your listening um, experience as well, I think. Yes, it is, but long wave radio is still tremendously useful. But I find it when I'm driving in France, I can listen. I mean, just somewhere I was in, there was in somewhere in the south of France, I could still actually pick up long wave and hear all the news about the riots and everything live on the, on, as I was driving around. What, and no, at the moment, no mm. other device will actually quite let me do that so well as ordinary those traditional long waves coming out of Droitwich. Yeah. Yeah. However, <laughs> however, however, I, I, I do love all the modern stuff as well. I mean, I do, I, I do, I mean, I often listen on the Skybox actually before I go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, and I use iPlayer madly all the time, for example. So yeah. I mean, I'd say I'd, I'm I'm very much in favour of modern ways of listening to the radio as well. But it's content that matters ultimately, you know. Ultimately, yes, indeed. Uh, just finally, while you're here, you know, outside of the, the the things you've been showing off today, what are you guys uh, championing as the ultimate uh, gadget in the world today? If you could pick one gadget, no matter what the cost, what would it be? Come on, I was you guys with gadgets I was all day long. I was hoping for the Nikon D4, but it hasn't come out yet. Actually, partly due to problems, understandable problems, I'm having in Japan now. Because I, okay. I wanted, I want, I want because replacement for a Nikon. Because I still love the Nikon D3, but yeah, I, I also like the Leica M9. Carry yeah, on. Well, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on um, Nokia's new Windows phone. That's a good idea. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm quite curious to see um, what changes Microsoft have made to Nokia, and perhaps how Nokia have influenced Microsoft in terms of making the ultimate phone. Did you notice they didn't put an FM radio on it? Which is so <laughs> unusual for Nokia. <laughs> 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 yes. 
<laughs> Maybe they have a secret they weapon up their sleeve. Oh, I hope they can launch another one. They normally <laughs> knock it normally launch a red phone every, phone every three weeks. Guys, it's great to talk to you. Thanks for coming to the radio. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. Cheers.